بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم after we finished the maxillary and mandibular anterior teeth and the maxillary and mandibular premolars now we are starting with the maxillary molars and this is the max the permanent maxillary first molar with uh, we will start with some notes uh, the first is that the maxillary first molar is normally the largest tooth in the maxillary arch it has four well developed functioning cusps so four of its cusp four of its cusps are functioning and a fifth supplemental cusp of little practical use and so four functioning cusps and one non functioning cusp which is called a fifth cusp or called the tubercle of carabelli the fifth cusp at its usual site at its usual site which is mesially in lingual aspect serves to identify the maxillary first molar so how we will differentiate the maxillary first molar from the other molars it is mainly through the fifth cusp or through the tubercle of carabelli which is present only in the maxillary first molar the other note, it has three roots, two buccal and one lingual. So two buccal roots, which are the mesiobuccal and the distobuccal, and one lingual root. Okay, the lingual root is the largest. So the lingual is the largest, and the distobuccal root is the smallest. This is the smallest. Now with the landmarks and the anatomy of the occlusal surface of the mandibular first molar which, uh, which is the most important aspect of the tooth because it has so many landmarks I decided to divide them into groups the first uh, group is the foci uh, there are three foci the first is the distal triangular fossa the second is the central fossa and the third is mesial triangular fossa there are a uh, 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 another fossa I didn't mention because uh, I'm not sure of it the box say that the there are a distal fossa present in here uh, but I didn't check it so much so I didn't include it in the file uh, but let's con concentrate that there are three foci distal triangular fossa central fossa and mesial triangular fossa and we will shift to the other group of landmarks of the occlusal aspect of the maxillary first molar which are the cusps the maxillary first molar has five cusps two distal and two mesial this is the distobuccal cusp and the distolingual cusp this is the mesiobuccal cusp and the mesiolingual cusp and the fifth cusp this one is situated mesially in the lingual aspect which is called the tubercle of Carabelli. Now we have a note that the mesiolingual cusp is much larger and before occlusal wear it is always the longest cusp the tooth possesses. So the mesiolingual cusp is the largest and the longest before occlusal wear. Now to the other group of landmarks of the occlusal aspect which are the developmental grooves we have eight developmental grooves we are starting with the buccal groove and opposing to it is the lingual groove we have a central fossa that has a buccal groove of central fossa and central groove of central fossa and central pit 
and also we have the transverse groove of the oblique ridge it is transversing the oblique ridge and the distal oblique groove this is the distal oblique groove so these are the grooves let's repeat them very quickly a buccal groove and dingual groove we have central fossa that has a central pit buccal groove of central fossa and central groove of central fossa we also have the transverse groove of oblique ridge which transversing the oblique ridge and we have a distal oblique groove distal oblique groove or distal oblique groove and finally the fifth cusp is here and we have the fifth cusp groove now the anatomy or the landmarks of the occlusal aspect of the maxillary first molar are finished we will start with the other aspects which are which the first one is the buccal aspect so from buccal aspect we can see the lingual root between the two buccal roots between the mesial buccal root and the distal buccal root we can see the cervical line and distal developmental groove we can see the mesiolingual cusp between the two buccal cusps the mesiobuccal and the distal so in buccal aspect we can see the lingual root between the two buccal roots and we can see the mesiolingual cusp between the two buccal cusps and this is the root trunk now from lingual aspect we can see the lingual root and a little of the mesiobuccal root and the distobuccal root this is the cervical line the fifth cusp we said it is situated mesially in lingual aspect this is the lingual developmental groove and we can see the two lingual cusps which are the distolingual cusp and mesiolingual cusps no buccal cusps can be seen from lingual aspect now for the distal aspect we can see the lingual root and the two buccal roots mainly the distal buccal root we can see the cervical line the we can see a part of the buccal developmental groove just a part of it and we can see the distal marginal ridge the distal contact area and the two of course the two buccal cusps which are the distal buccal cusp and the distal uh, sorry uh, the two distal cusps not buccal two distal cusps which are the distal buccal and distal lingual cusps now from a mesial aspect we can see the lingual root the mesial buccal root so the distal buccal root cannot be seen from a mesial aspect the root trunk the cervical ridge this is uh, the fifth cusp and the mesiolingual cusp and the mesiobuccal cusp so from mesial aspect we can see the mesial cusps which are the mesiolingual and mesiobuccal and this is the mesial marginal ridge mesial contact area and not point contact area now we have a note it is a very good information and a very good note to keep in mind that the molar roots originates as a single root on the base of the crown so this is the crown and the molar roots all the molar roots in the maxillary and mandibular arch start as a single root just like this and then divided into three roots in the maxillary molars and two roots in the mandibular molars and the common root base is called root trunk this is the root trunk 
which is the common root base from which the root the single root is divided into three roots in the maxillary arch and maxillary molars and two roots in the mandibular molars thank you for watching and inshallah we will meet in the mandibular uh, sorry in the maxillary second molar fi amanlah